I'm reflecting on how Paulo Freire is talking about liberation is thus a childbirth and the person that comes from it emerges as a, as a whole new person. There have been scholars that have been talking about, oh, the, the end is near, capitalism is dying, right? But now this moment is objectively and qualitatively different. And so how can we compare, right, in comparing um, sort of the liberation process as a childbirth, right, these contractions that sort of we've been experienced in society with the pandemic, with ecological, you know, crisis, with houselessness, with all these different things, right? as capitalism being pregnant with this new society that is coming to fruition. What does that look like? My mom taught me to love the poor. It came from her nurturing, her understanding of spirituality and faith. And she's very much a reason why I'm a revolutionary today. I mean, we also grew up poor and with racism and all this trauma. But now as a mom, they're the fuel that keeps me going. When shit is fundamentally effed up, I just got to look at my kids and you know what? Tough it up, pull up your big person pants and go forward. And it's not always easy because I think we lose more than we win. Having that sense of, of leaving something good, not just for our family members, but for future generations. I mean, that's, that's real revolutionary. My pregnancy was also super hard and my birth was super hard. The metaphor in that is that um, one, we can do difficult things and that both difficult things and beautiful things can stand next to each other and exist, right? And that it's not going to be, we're not, like, there's no utopian in being a human being, but there is a lot better than we have now. I think too, as moms and as comrades, we give so much of ourselves. We over empty ourselves. And I'm telling you from experience, we got to figure out how to be nurturing to each other and ourselves. This question of, of childbirth as being beautiful, but difficult, hard, and painful, you can look at that and apply it to the revolutionary process. I mean, all the things that we have about hope and, and the future and what the revolution can bring, all that is really good. But we also have to remember that this shit is hard and it is difficult and it is deadly. Along with that hope, we have to have some real understanding of what we're facing and what we're saying when we say we want to overthrow this bourgeois. When I think of being a parent, I think of all the ways that I get the chance to grow my children in an environment where I didn't get to, right? I think of all the ways that I can show up for them in the ways that I wish I was shown up for. And so when I think of birthing the revolution, I think of the responsibility of being able to, even though I couldn't get this, I wanna make sure that generations after me have access to this.